Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you are living your best life. Allnursesbreakroom.com How to handle a cheating wife slash RN. I don't know if this is an appropriate forum for this topic, but only other nurses may know how I feel. I've known my wife, who is an RN, for 24 years, since we were 12. She is my best friend and one heck of a nurse. In 2010, I found out she was having some type of relationship with her then shift manager. She said it was just an emotional relationship and she was sorry, but for about six months, she couldn't commit to our marriage and wasn't sure how deep her feelings for him were. I tried to repair the marriage and forgive her, but I finally said two could play that game and I began an emotional affair with someone at work who I promptly told my wife about. She became insanely jealous and wanted our marriage and our family back, as we had a three-year-old daughter at the time. Last December, I graduated from the nursing program, and six days before, my wife, through skilled manipulation on my part, admitted the relationship had been sexual in our bed while I was on a trip out of state. Almost three years had passed, so I figured, what the heck, we are in a good place. I'm not going to make a big deal of this. Now she was a manager herself, and over this entire time period, she continued working with this guy. I really thought I bent over backwards for giving her and having the confidence in our marriage to be perfectly fine with her continuing to work with him and share a manager's office with him without being jealous or nervous. We went on vacation to celebrate my graduation and I had an unexpected trip out of state that I had to plan for the middle of our vacation. I learned upon returning from this vacation and my secondary trip that she had been sexting this guy and they had planned for him to join her on the vacation to have sex while I was out of state. It didn't materialize but they were trying to make it happen. While discussing this new and utterly unbelievable development, she admitted to sleeping with the man in 2011 and again in 2012 while I was at home with our kids. We now have three. She has now admitted to sleeping with the guy in our office while at work and on the clock while he was her boss. In our bed, at a hotel, at his house, numerous makeout and groping sessions in their shared office while co-managers and a number of oral sessions also, at least one that was in the office during work. She swears she is done with him and doesn't understand why she was willing to risk our marriage all this time. But our family and our relationship is more important to her. I sent this man a message stating if he ever did anything with my wife or even text her, I would contact their department head, HR, the CNO, and CEO of the hospital and let them know of this relationship and at least two other relationships my wife has told me he has had with married subordinates while he was managing them. This man has a history of trolling his employees for married women who are distraught in their marriage and emotionally vulnerable. I also told my wife I would implement her along with him as well as this is the final straw. I love my kids and I don't want them growing up in a home without me and we live in a no fault state meaning my wife could sleep with a hundred men and still keep the kids as she is a wonderful mother. My wife has stated she is concerned with me entering the nursing field and being around beautiful nurses and cheating on her. The idea makes her sick to her stomach. She wants me to forgive her and for us to move past this and for it to make us stronger, yet turnabout is not fair play to her. She actually stated she doesn't know if she could accept me cheating on her to even the score. I told her I have forgiven her for this relationship twice before and now she is asking for me to do it again after she revealed to me all all these other sexual encounters with him and admitted to make out and groping sessions throughout my last semester in the nursing program but apparently no sexual encounters I'm finding it hard to believe but then again does it make it any worse than it is already how would a typical hospital handle this situation if it was brought to their attention that two managers have been carrying on an illicit affair for the better part of four years on and off duty in their office and that he has done it at least twice before with his subordinates and the fact that my wife was his subordinate when it started between them. Would it be dealt with or would a hospital even care about this? The fact is over the next few months, I'm going to have to decide if I wanna continue this marriage, if I can continue this marriage. 
If I can continue the marriage without enacting my own revenge by having an affair of my own, because let's face it, she's had an occasional lover for the past four years. Why should she be the only one able to play and just have it accepted by her spouse? Emotionally, I'm devastated, not by the affair itself, but by the callous way she has repeatedly jeopardized our marriage through her own selfishness. And even in the face of all this, tries to come up with little lame excuses as to why she did it. Like telling me last night, she was mad at me for losing my wedding ring at the beach a few years ago, for which I promptly pointed out the $8,000 wedding ring set I bought her to signify our love and commitment for one another has literally held this man's many times over the last four or more years. Please tell me, all you professional nurses, what recourse do I have with regard to their work if I ever felt I needed to pursue it? Liberator said, run away fast. This will never end. Run. Organized Chaos said, I don't know what her employer would do, probably fire or suspend them both. I would run away. She is never going to stop. She might quit with the current guy, but she will start with another. I know you want to be there for your kids, but sometimes it's best for the kids to separate. Doe Aryan said, get tested and run away. The Gooch said, stay married and have as many affairs as you like. After all, she is the one that started it and revenge is sweet. Seriously, dude, why are you still with her? Minusco said, I would consider DNA testing the children. 21 Strawberry said, I can't imagine what you're going through, and I feel sorry that it's happening to you. Having your trust shatter once is bad enough, but to endure it time and time again is just unacceptable. What she has done is big. Neither of you will ever forget it. Try as you might. As the other poster said, she will not change. I have to agree. Staying together for the kids really isn't the best for them. As hard as that may be to understand, I wish my parents hadn't stayed together for my brother and I. It was an emotionally painful childhood spent walking on eggshells. Sometimes the best thing for your children is going your separate ways and being better people for them. They would never learn what a healthy relationship looks like if they grew up watching you guys together. I only say this because your wife very likely will continue to do what she is doing and the resentment will grow. Personally, I would steer you away from the revenge affair. There will be plenty of time for finding another woman. End it, get yourself tested, and keep the relationship amicable for the children. As for her job, I'm sure they both get fired, and rightly so. Best of luck to you. Jade said, it's called having one's cake and eating it too, with the side of, I don't want you, but don't want anyone else to have you either. Her manipulation knows no boundaries. With all that being said, you have no proof but hearsay that any of this occurred. Therefore, you could be setting yourself up for stating any of this as fact for one heck of a slander lawsuit. So as much as you may get revenge slash satisfaction and the like by dealing both of them their due, just say no. My eyes have rolled back in my head so many times reading this that now they are stuck there. Now all of a sudden she is all concerned that you are going to be working around women. More like you have taken her seat at the lunch table and invited yourself into her cheating playground that gives new meaning to the word manager. That is now being invaded by cooties. Keep your character. Your wife has issues, and I say that on the word that she admitted to all of this, otherwise it would be just hearsay that she needs to figure out on her own. Otherwise, let your kids be the priority. Don't badmouth your wife to the kids and get yourself some therapy just so that you don't fall into another relationship with manipulative, whacked women. I feel for you and wish you nothing but the best. Maka Wake said, I'm not much of a dear Abby, but here are my two cents. Short version. Number one, I don't believe that your wife will end this relationship or not stray elsewhere. Number two, I don't think retaliatory cheating leads to anything constructive. Number three, I think that you need to come up with a plan of action to ensure happiness and stability for yourself and your children. Here's the long, slight, preachy version. It's obvious that your wife has hurt you and that her actions have eroded the foundation of trust I believe is essential in a successful marriage slash relationship. This has been going on for four years or more. Why? Why has it been going on for such a long period of time? I think that's a question you need to ask yourself. I believe that 
choices we make are often based on the reward we get from that choice. That motivation slash reward might not always be positive or healthy. You repeatedly mention having an affair of your own. Quote, I tried to repair the marriage and forgive her, but I finally said two could play that game and I began an emotional relationship with someone at work who I promptly told my wife about. Here's another quote from you. My wife has stated she is concerned with me entering the nursing field and being around beautiful nurses and cheating on her. The idea makes her sick to her stomach. She actually stated she doesn't know if she could accept me cheating on her to even the score. Another of one of your quotes. I'm going to have to decide if I want to continue this marriage, if I can continue this marriage without enacting on my own revenge by having an affair of my own. And here's the final quote. Why would she be the only one able to play and just have it accepted by her spouse? Okay, so are you hurt that she has betrayed your trust or do you harbor a longing for the freedom to engage in extracurricular activities yourself? See, I'm getting mixed signals. You, of course, have every right to feel hurt and betrayed. However, I don't understand why you think that more hurt and betrayal could be a successful recipe for salvaging an already strained marriage. It's human to fantasize about payback when we've been wronged, but I'm convinced no good will come out of it. 